Some people are smart, others are creative. Some people create problems, others solve them. I combine all of those traits, douse them with an unhealthy amount of insanity and light the whole thing on fire. And if I do, this thing comes out. A minigun. Well, it's a 400 millimeter minigun, so I guess we should probably call it a maxi gun or something. It's a Gatling gun, okay. This thing uses 12 sub objects and 28 advanced control blocks in total just to fire. Is it. has it more firepower than a normal gun? No. Does it survive hits better than a normal gun? No, it's with all of the sub objects, it has weak, weak points all over the place. Is it smaller than a normal gun? Well, not really. Because, because while I use merging uh, to, to uh, put all of the firing pieces together, at the same time it needs huge amounts of spaces to, to move around in. So, no, it's not smaller either. So, why did I build it? Because it looks pretty damn cool. That's the only reason. And that reason cost me 40 hours of my life. What am I doing? <laughs> it compares Where's to... that minigun thing to the right? That yeah. thing? That is a minigun. Yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> 350 millimeters. It's just a bunch of guns copied and pasted and then put on a spin block on a spin block. Yes, exactly. And like uh, in order to... Uh, because otherwise the minigun would be so big so that, that you can have like this thing pointing out, out of the hull and this thing is still inside of the hull, you know, so that's why I put them all on, right. uh, on spin blocks. Then I believe Do you have them synchronized? Yes, yes. Uh, they're, they're, they're firing from, from this block, you know, you have this advanced control, automated control oh. block, sorry, and they detect this block. Oh my goodness, that is... Yeah. Okay, so... That is really smart. Th this is brilliant. You see this? This is the turret that's actually uh, doing the, the, the firing, okay? So right now it's pointing oh. this way. But as soon as I take control, you see, uh, the piston goes in and uh, closes, uh, oh goes between the, the, the automated control blocks and they make the gun spin and also push this piston forward and these uh, automated control blocks then detect this piston and make the gun go fire and uh, they, they all fire in this position. Uh, so yeah, there That's you go. It will um, break real bad when one of the guns gets destroyed and they all get repaired off at different angles though. Yes, yeah. that's why uh, as soon as, as I stop, uh, you, you, you can see like it resets oh, to a certain event. position. Yeah, yeah. yeah you can see you it go. going that's back to, to the standard position. What? I think that I is my <laughs> This huge metal block here is basically the gun sitting on my Helios airship. Still work in progress, has a lot of holes. Down there you can see the gun itself. This thing is basically a Rube Goldberg machine. There is so much cause and effect going on. It's just insane. Let me demonstrate. I'm going to spawn in a Marauder. Uh, make it point, uh, point 0.1 speed. Okay, so we now here have an advanced control block that sees, okay, enemy is in range. It activates the O complex control. That means combat mode. Combat mode also means that it opens these flaps here, which uh, add extra armor and also uh, make, uh, show uh, open the, the missile base. But that's uh, not important. We're talking about the gun. It will open the doors down here, which aren't here yet, but I will put them there as soon as I decide on what design I want. Also, it uh, starts extending this piston downwards to uh, push the gun out of the hull so that it can start firing. So far, uh, let me pause again. Uh, these uh, AI wireless receivers are turned off. Uh, so uh, uh, it doesn't already start aiming and they are on a delay. Uh, that's what uh, this advanced control block does. As soon as uh, this delay is over, uh, they will activate and uh, then we can start aiming the gun itself. Yeah, there we go. Now the turret, this turret is aiming uh, for the azimuth. This turret down here is aiming for the elevation. 
And back here we have a the third turret with the firing key. It's a two axis turret, so uh, if the target is too far above or below, it won't shoot either. And this one now starts aiming and uh, gets detected by these advanced control blocks. <coughs> these advanced control blocks, again with the delay, will start uh, spinning the gun. There you go. And also, after even more delay, we'll push these two pistons forward. Which then uh, fire the gun. <coughs> As you can see here, there are four advanced control blocks on the guns, but only two pistons here. It's for redundancy, so two of them check is there an object, and two of them check is there no object, so that if one of the gun gets shot off and falls down, it doesn't act trigger the other guns. Uh, it's just a safety mechanism. Also, the gun fires in bursts. That's uh, what what the other control box here uh, do. Basically, after a certain delay, it will uh, retreat and then push out the, the pistons again, so that we have this burst firing effect. Like this. And once the enemy is destroyed, we stop spinning, we retreat uh, the thing back inside the hull, and we close the gates that still aren't there yet. You can see where I was going with the whole Rube Goldberg machine, right? There's just so many uh, staggered layers of events happening in order to deploy this uh, gun correctly. I spent way too much time on this thing. But it was worth it, in my opinion. I like it. <laughs>